for being killed by Pakistani terrorists called Taliban. Sipahe sahab. There are 86 bodies. Four days before, on Thursday, there was a mass attack. First, there was a suicide bomb in the snooker club. And there was a commemoration ceremony for our holy prophet, Muhammad Mustafa, peace be upon him. The one about whom Prophet Jesus talked about. There was the commemoration. People, they came out from the religious center which called Imam Barga. When they came out, at the same time, there was the ambulance, it comes. Ambulance, their job is to provide social services to the people. To take the ill and sick people to the hospital. To take the bodies to the graveyard. But when these people, their crowd comes out, ambulance come, but that ambulance has not brought the life. It brought the death for the innocent people. Bomb was fixed over there. Hundred of the people immediately on the spot they were killed. More than 200 people, they are serious danger. And that was the demand of the people of the Koita. Government will come and stop the killing and give assurance for the peace. If anything happened anywhere in the world, what is the duty of the head of this staff? What is the duty of the head of the state? The one who is the chief minister of that country, that state, which called Balochistan. He has traveled to the London. He is enjoying his holidays. He booked a four room over there. He went for the admission of one of his relatives. People they were asking, people they were demanding, come and if you are unable to establish the peace, call the army, take the charge. But he hasn't come yet. And he was making mock of the innocent people. And he said, if you need some tissue paper, I'm going to send the tissue paper. If you remember, when the people, they stand for the revolution, and there were the hungry people, they were asking for the bread, and at that time, queen of that country, she said, see, if you are not getting bread, get the cake. People, they dislike that comment. What happened to the chief minister of the Balochistan? Brothers, since Thursday till now, there are the people in the quarter with the bodies, bodies of the 86 people, with the small children, like today we came here with the small children, with the girls, with women, with wives, with sisters, with everyone, and look at the weather in the Balochistan in Koita. Temperature is minus six. It is freezing. It is severely cold. There is a snowfall. There is a heavy rain. People, they are on the street since last four days. What is their demand? They are not asking any position. They are not asking any money or wealth from them. They are not asking from them, build our houses. They are asking 
only one thing. We need peace. We are Shia. We need peace. We are Shia. We need peace. We are Shia. We need peace. Down, down, Pakistani government. 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 Stop, stop. She are killing. 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 No more, no more. She are killing. No more, no more, no more. She are killing. No. Suicide bomb, and in result of this is very common. Ten people, fifteen people, seventy people, hundred people, hundred and twenty people. It is common everywhere in Pakistan. And that person was being killed. Thereafter, what you are doing? You are taking your body to the hospital to save the life of the people. When our people in the Karachi, they take the bodies of the people, those who were injured and the, those who were dead ones, to the hospital. Again, there was another suicide bomb. So hospitals are not safe. After that, those who were died, 
they complete their funeral and they wanted to bury in the cemetery in the graveyard. They take the body to the graveyard and in the cemetery. Again there was the, again there is a suicide bombing and there were the many people were killed. We are not safe in our religious places. We are not safe in the hospital. We are not safe. We are not safe in the cemeteries. We are not safe in the market. We are not safe in the buses. We are not safe in the we are not safe in the school. We are not safe in the colleges. That is happening in the Pakistan. Last four days, people they are standing with the bodies. Of course. There are the some assurance given by the government. But just the one and the assurance or the signing that is not enough. Really we need peace. And we need help from our Australian brothers. I am asking assistance from our Australian brothers and sisters. Civilized nation, civilized society. If you can do one favor to me, if you save the one child, really you did the great job. If you save the one person, so that means you save the one family. If you save the one family, so that means you save the humanity. You all are our brothers, you all are our sisters. Of course, please come together, raise your voice, write your petition. There are many petitions on the website. I ask you please, give your detail, write your name, write your designation, write that we are the Australian people, we believe in peace. And not only we believe in peace, only in the Australia, we believe in peace in the entire world, and especially in Pakistan. We are Shia! We love peace! We are Shia! We love peace! We are Shia! We love peace! Down, down! Where there is no law and order. Pakistan is a country where there are the ruler, they made the rule only for their them, themselves. Pakistan is a country where there is a justice, chief justice and the position for the chief justice, but there is no justice. Pakistan is a country where there is a police department, but they are not sincere about the law and order. Pakistan is a country where the head of the state, he promised the people, he provides the peace, but he is not fulfilling his promises. Pakistan is a country where there is a media, media talk about these small issues, but media never did only this event, only this event, it was covered by the media purpose. Before that, for the period of the 39 hours in Karachi, Shias, they were in the street, but there was not proper coverage by them. Chief Justice, who is taking notice for each and everything,
oppressors. We oppose injustice. We oppose terrorism. We oppose violation of human rights. We oppose genocide of Shia Muslim in Pakistan. In Pakistan, Taliban, they have only one point. People of Australia, they are well aware of the face of Taliban. People of civilized world, they are well aware of the face of Taliban. Taliban, they are against the humanity. Taliban, they are against the justice. Taliban, they are against the Taliban, they are not opposing one religion. Taliban, they are against the Judaism. Taliban, they are against the Christianity. Taliban, they are against the Muslims. Taliban, they are against the Buddhists. Taliban, they are against the Christians. Taliban, they are against the Hindus. Taliban, they are against the each and everyone, those who believe in peace. Taliban, they are the oppressor. Taliban, they are the tyrant. Thailand, Taliban, they are the hopeless people. Taliban, they do not believe in the respect and dignity. Our world is beautiful world. Our world is which is full of happiness. In Australia, when we are walking on the street, if one of our fellow, the person who is a stranger to you, if he fell down over there, everyone is going and helping him. Asking him what happened to you. Immediately you are making calls for the ambulance come and help him. If you are looking just the smoke, it is coming from the house of your neighbor, you inform the fire brigade to come. But in Pakistan, entire country is burned. They are killing the innocent people. They are killing the kids. They are killing the woman. And moreover, what happened? When our youth, they are coming after that incident and they raise their voices, they are keeping them in the jail and prison. They are supposed to put in the prison the people, but those who are criminal. Those who are responsible for this tragic martyrdom. Suicide bombing. But they are supporting him. Maybe you were you heard about the Chief Justice of Pakistan who is trying to make his image in the world. But the Chief Justice of Pakistan, what he did in last few years. In the time of Musharraf, Abdul Aziz, who was the leader of the terrorists, who has the big amount of the weapon in his mosque. He was arrested and he was in the prison. When he came, he freed him. Muhammad Sufi, he is the leader of the Taliban. He was released by the Chief Justice. There are the many, many Talibani people. Those who were in the prison, they were released by him. And the innocent people, those who lost their brother, their brothers, their dear ones. They are in the prison. So I ask all our Australian brothers and sisters, please help to save the Pakistan. Please help us to save the Pakistani people. Please help us to save the innocent people. Please help us, the people, those who believe in peace. Please help the people, those who want to live with the dignity and respect in the Pakistan. We are Shia! We are